You can probably see right here where our door panel swoops up. What's happening everybody? Doug Lane here, Fast Lane Car Care. We got the 2018 Infiniti QX60. Uh, we are going to go ahead, we're just doing the front two windows to match the factory rear tent. Uh, customer let me know that they had it detailed a while ago and they have something on their windows. We got hydrophobic coating. I keep seeing this stuff talking about ceramic glass cleaner. I think maybe that's what it is because uh, I'm seeing a lot more of it rather than just straight up anti-fog. But she said something about it was smeared or fogging up or something. So uh, either which way, we're going to get this done. I'm going to show you guys how to do this uh, because we're not going to remove the panel. You can see how our panel kind of swoops up there. Um, I'll probably give you a little bit closer view um on the outside here in a second but we could pull these panels but we don't have to i already did the other side uh shouldn't be too bad biggest thing is we're just going to make sure we got all that hydrophobic coating off of there and then like down here where i can't really reach we got a couple of choices we could take our shank or try edge and kind of stick it down in there but It might be a little bit too tight for this towel because this towel is kind of thick. We just kind of run it down there like that. Secondly, we'll just make sure we rinse that really well so the uh, any of this leftover squeaky bunky will come off <coughs> or uh, get rinsed down there. We need we need to wipe down our top edge again. Might just bump that just a smidge further. All right, time to squeegee this off. Go ahead and squeegee our window. Make sure we don't have any dust or anything in there. Come back here with our tent whiz tri edge. Get all that knocked down. Oh, she turned off on me. Probably could have got both windows done if I would have hustled a little bit, but I had to mess with the GoPro. I don't have much time today. I got, uh, a whole day's worth of work to get done by two o'clock or so so we're kind of i wasn't going to do a video but then i was like ah, eh, you know what get up there we can stick we can stick one window we can stick one window now because this may still have a little remnants of hydrophobic coating we're not going to wrestle around with this much we're going to try to get it right where we want it and then stick it Make sure we're past our gap. We got deep, deep seals on both sides on this. Uh, Nissans are one car I really don't mind tinting. Uh, I know this is an Infinity, but um, Infinities are basically, uh, they are like Nissan's upscale luxury brand, just as accurate as Honda's upscale brand, and Lexus is Toyota's upscale brand. And then of course you've got Lincoln, which is Ford. And then Mercury as well as Ford. So you'll see a lot of similarities there. Does Chrysler have an upscale brand? 
I guess now, well, I don't know. Would you call Fiat? Would you call Fiat an upscale brand? I don't know. I probably wouldn't personally. Make sure that's rinsed real well. We don't really want to touch this panel if we can help it. Give it a little mist. Kind of lift it and drop it down in this. Come back here, kind of just bam. Just kind of create some space. Let it roll down in there. These are snap shrink patterns. As you can kind of see, there's tension in there where it wants to go. And uh, no big deal. Guys, we got a little uh, giveaway going on. There will be a link for merch in the description. Um, so this is August 22nd right now as I'm as I'm filming this. So you should see it probably the 23rd or 24th. Uh, until the end of September, um, everybody that buys merch, if you send me a picture of your receipt or a picture of your merch, screenshot, whatever, if you text it or, um, you know, uh, find the Facebook page Fastlane Car Care LLC. Uh, you can send me, you know, in the messages, send me proof that you bought something, and we are going to be giving away a $100 uh, gas card. Um, may just do like a prepaid Visa rather than gas that way, because like I know like some gas stations are more popular in certain areas than others. So if we have a lot of entries. Uh, we'll do like a uh, three, like three place drawing. So we'll do like a first place would be a hundred dollar gift card, a fuel card, prepaid visa card, whatever. And then, you know, we'll figure out something for second place, probably like 50 and 25 for third. Uh, we'll just see what kind of, what kind of, uh, interest there is. Uh, and it doesn't matter. We got all kinds of stuff. We've got, um, see these water spots right here. This is what the customer was telling me about their detailer was using, I don't know, some kind of ceramic stuff to get these water spots off, I guess is what she said. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter if you just buy a sticker, if you buy a t-shirt, a tumbler, you know, it doesn't matter. The price doesn't matter. As long as you buy something, you can be entered to win. Now, the thing is, you have to send it to me. You have to send me proof because... Uh, I don't have any way of seeing who bought what because uh, I have mine printed on demand from Teespring, all my merch. So, uh, you know, like I said, I don't have any proof. So you got to find me on Facebook uh, or text the phone number right there. Whatever is going to work easiest for you. And... Uh, that's what we'll do. This old glass cleaner here is about shot. So all we're gonna do is just clean up our windows, clean up our door panels, make sure we catch any drips or anything like that. Uh, get our overspray off of the glass and stuff. I think it's supposed to rain all day, so I'm not gonna make a huge deal about it. It's been raining for like a month here, man. It's crappy, which I mean, Rain works good for window tent. It does keep the dust down and all that stuff, but I just don't really like it. <clears throat> but there you guys go. Uh, that's how you do the front windows. You don't have to pull the panel. You can probably see right here where our door panel swoops up. Uh, if you're careful, you should be able to tuck that in, no problem. It is back to school time for us, so it'll be time to get the snow cone stuff put away. Snow cone sales are over. I can start to get some of my garage back. Woo! Most of you people probably know my pain. 
So here's how I handle these little streaks. Uh, just hit them with a little bit of glass cleaner. Let it sit for a second. You don't want to let it sit like 10 minutes or anything like that. You don't want to let it dry. And then your drips are going down, so you just go across. I've really thought about panel covers, and honestly, I should get some, uh, some carpet shield. But my thought process is if it's a car like this, it's an everyday car, the material is not exotic. Like this isn't gonna hurt anything. If you get into some of the higher end stuff, that can be, uh, you know, a problem getting them wet, real leather, stuff like that. But I almost never deal with that stuff. So it's kind of like, eh. You're gonna have extra time putting your panel cover on. So are you really saving any time by not having to clean? I don't know. There you guys go. I'm gonna jump off here, get the next truck pulled in, hit the button and let them know they can come and get it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.